Welcome to Extreme Web Designs. My name is Rocky and in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily clear browsing data in Google Chrome. There are two versions for this, that is the basic and advanced, so I'm going to cover them both. So let's get started. Open up Google Chrome browser and in the right hand section, click on the three vertical dots that say customize and control Google Chrome and click on the settings option. And in the left hand menu bar, click on the option that says privacy and security. And under the privacy and security section, click on the option that says clear browsing data. And here you'll find two sections, the basic and the advanced. So I'm going to cover about the basic option first, and then I will explain about the advanced section. The first option under the basic tab is the time range and this time range is going to be available for the advanced data as well. So now this contains time range and if I click on this drop down it will show me some options which I'll cover in a little bit. But let me just summarize what these options stand for. The browsing history is the first option. So let's say if you want to clear all your browsing history such as the website URLs that you typed in the URL address bar. So you can click on this option, which means that if you clear the browsing history, then you will no longer see autocomplete based on your previously typed information as that information will be deleted. If you don't want that, you can just uncheck that. So if you want to avoid retyping all the domain names, you just need to uncheck this option. The second option is cookies and other site data. If you select this option, what happens is all the cookies and other authenticated information that may have been stored on this device will be lost. So for example, let's say if you logged into your Gmail account and you check this option and you hit the clear data button. So what this will do is it will delete your persistent login data. And when you restart the browser or when you visit Gmail again, Google will ask you to authenticate your account once again and you will have to type in your email and your password information once again and authenticate yourself. This will happen with all the other websites that use some kind of cookies or other login mechanism to store your persistent data on this device. So if you want to avoid logging back into the accounts that you're already logged in, simply uncheck this option. And the last one is the cached image and files. What this does is whenever you visit some websites, it will store information such as the images and other data relevant to the website so that when you visit this website once again in the future, it will speed up your browsing session. I usually tend to opt for this option because usually images and other files have a expiry duration or expiry time. So checking this option and Hitting the clear data ensures that you receive new data whenever you access that website. So if you're a non-technical person, then I suggest that you avoid checking these options and check only the option that says cached images and files and then hit the clear button. So let's do that. So note that the cached images and files are currently taking up 321 megabytes and this is deleting all the data that has been collected so far in the device. So if you were to select any of the other options, then it will only delete the information from only that point of time on the device or accessed within, la within the last 24 hours. Likewise, the other options, if you select the last seven days option, it will delete all the data that, it, that is only seven days old. If you select last four weeks, it will delete all the data, which is a month old. Note that it's taking much time because it has to delete a lot of data. So it looks like it finished clearing the data so far. And now let's go to the advanced tab. Now this has more items than what were listed in the basic tab. So what the first one is the browsing history which means all the domains that you have visited so far and all the website URLs that you have typed so far, that will be cleared if you check this option. I want to avoid typing in the domain names or the website URLs again, so I'm gonna uncheck that. The download history items. 
These are the items that you have downloaded onto your device, such as an image file or an audio file or a video file. So if you check this option, it's going to delete all that information as well. I want to retain that information, so I'm going to uncheck this box. Now, cookies and other site data. Again, this information pertains to your login information and other cookies that Google or any other website may have stored on your device. So if you want to avoid losing your login information or persistent data about your login and other such information, simply uncheck this. Or if you want to re-login again or want to start fresh, simply check this option. Now, the fourth one is cached images and files. Checking this option ensures that all the cached images and files are deleted so that whenever you visit a website, a newer version of those images and files are downloaded back to your device. So if you uncheck this, it will not delete the already cached images and files on your device. Because I want to delete the cached images and files, I'm going to check this option and uncheck the cookies and other site data because I want to avoid typing my login information once again. Next option is passwords and other sign-in data. Google Chrome is storing 85 passwords that I've entered so far. And if you want to delete all those passwords that you have entered so far, just click this checkbox and hit the clear data button. I don't want to lose all that information, so I'm going to uncheck this. And let's scroll bottom again. Now, the next option is autofill form data. If you check this option, it will clear out all the previously entered form data. So let's say, for example, you visited a website wherein you filled in contact information and you left a message for them. Google Chrome usually stores data such as your name, email, contact information, or any such information of that sort other than the message in the autofill form data settings. So that whenever you visit this website next and try to use the same page again, it will let you auto populate this form with the already filled in information so if you want to clear that information simply check this option i don't want to lose that information so i'm going to uncheck that site settings these are the settings that google chrome has saved for the websites that you have previously visited so for example you visited a search engine and that search engine wanted to show you some notifications you didn't want to see those notifications so you just blocked those notifications those kind of settings become a part of your site settings. And if you check this option and click the clear data, all those settings will be lost, which means whenever you visit that website again, it will prompt to show you notifications. And again, you'll have to either allow or block showing those notifications. Likewise, some other similar settings will also be stored pertaining to a specific website. And this will happen with all the websites that you visit. So if you don't want to deal with this kind of information anymore, simply uncheck this box. And hosted app data is the last option. And this option clears data stored for the apps that you have installed in your Google Chrome browser. So in my case, I have installed some mini games on my Chrome browser. So those games or any apps that you install from Google Web Store onto your Google Chrome browser, whenever you access those apps and those apps store some data on your device, that kind of data will be classified as hosted app data. So if you check this option and you click the clear data button, all that hosted app data will be deleted, which means you may lose your login information for that app, or maybe you will lose the progress that you have made in the app. So if you don't want to deal with all that kind of stuff, simply uncheck this box and hit the clear data button. So what I recommend is if you are a technical person and if you're comfortable accessing all this information and if you're knowledgeable about what each of these options do for you, you can go ahead and click the advanced tab and mess around with the settings that you like. But if you're a fairly basic user with no technical expertise, I suggest that you click on the basic tab and each time you visit this clear browsing data option, just simply make sure that cached images and files is selected and then hit the clear data button here. So that is how you can manage browsing data on Google Chrome. That's it for this video. If this video was helpful, please show your support by leaving a like, comment and share the video on social media. Subscribe to the channel 
and tap the bell icon to receive all future updates. Thanks for watching.